you could theoretically like yeah. let people try and take their money. Especially because you could even show code versus not show code. Exactly, and exactly. Just hopefully be nice and be like, hey guys, can you leave the lobby after this one game? <laughs> now now here we have uh, your your friend oh. Palocado. And he a little over aggressive there, but he seems like he definitely knows what he's doing. Nice jab confirm. Now oh, okay. From N4 US earlier, we saw um just a little bit of unfamiliar with some of the things like no follow-ups after overheads and stuff like that. So uh, we'll see if Pavlocato really takes advantage of just being more familiar with he the He looks game. like he's cooling it down here. He's like, all right, I'll just let this guy hang himself. He runs into the standing jab, gets a nice confirm, and goes into the armor grab to close it out. I, that's actually the big thing we were talking about Pavlocato, about, uh, about this game with Pavlocato earlier. Mm. The neutral game in this game, once you really force out the player to play slow, the neutral game is very methodical and you really forces you to find that first hit. That's uh, That's... One of the things I love best about fighting games, you know, obviously, I, so many fighting games that I, lo <laughs> that I love. I can't even uh, begin to start listing them. But that kind of neutral action, um, those kind of small, where you're, you know, a few pixels one way or the other, uh, looking for those hits, looking to make the right decision. Yeah, and for you, dropping some damage opportunities, Pavocado keeping it simple. Oh, it takes the anti-air throw also. Using the armor there. Now, interestingly enough, Cool Drill is actually safe on block against uh, Talos, so he yeah. did not have to burn that connect advance there. Yeah, Talos has some of the slower jabs, and uh, his his potential punishes not usually fast enough to catch anything but the the most sort of ill-timed Cool Drill, aka Rush Punch, <laughs> from a from a Dauntless. It is possible to do it fast enough that you could potentially grab Dauntless, oh, really? but it is spacing dependent. Yeah, okay. so there are there are some spacing dependencies. Um, same thing with Vlad's like clobbering rush. Uh, that worked. Wow. The reactionary overdrive and the follow up. Oh, he gets it. Oh, it burns meter. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Burns meter to get into a funky position. <laughs> uh, Pavocado taking out the trash there. He got me so excited there for a second. He hit the thing, he hit the follow up, he burns the meter. I'm like, yes, yes, yes. Oh. I won't tell Pavocado you cheered against him. But yeah, it was, <laughs> it was exciting for a moment there. All right. Looks like he's got, he's going to do some thinking. Will it be a mid-match switch? Again, uh, for anybody new to Rising Thunder, the basic match type here is uh, a two out of three setup. So you do play three games against everyone you're matched against online. And in between those games, while you cannot switch characters, you are able to switch your special move variants. That's a nice punish. It's a little neutral here. Yeah. He missed a crouching fierce opportunity. And now he's in danger. Oh, it just runs right out of the corner. Yes. Avocado lets him go underneath. That is an option that not many people use, uh, but it is surprisingly legit. Yeah, it's one thing I think I, I'm going to expect to see more and more in the future is, especially uh, people love the cross-ups right now in this game. Yeah. And you just dash out of pressure in that case. Oh, great use of armor, though. Keeps it going. Eh, safe pressure. So sweet. Gets the jab confirm again with the knockdown. Go for the cross-up. Yes, lands it. Goes for the jab. And the cooldown has finished. Oh, but he recovers uh, in time to get the anti-air. And I would, I would be embarrassed about that, but I do feel like N4US, man, that is a tough nickname to pronounce. Uh, had an opportunity to punish there, but not quite able to pull it off. Yeah, he should stay on the ground. He's kept it fast and simple. Yes. And that oh, time, the oops. crouching fierce got beat. So my advice, uh, getting owned there. He was a little out of position, so Pavocado with a full, like a more distant jump, was able to beat the anti-air. Interesting thing about this matchup is actually I find jump back medium uh, with Tal with Dauntless is a good answer to a lot of Talos' uh, jump ins. That's correct. Yeah, jumping back in general is pretty strong in this game. <gasps> oh, we got him. <laughs> we just tell why are you saying next to me you should not do that and get scooped. And PD and 4 us had something going there, but not able to close it out. Friendly handshake. Um, yeah, so jumping back in general is, I would say, a little on the strong side overall, except for the fact that corners are so brutally dangerous in exactly. this game.